Welcome back. We're here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, May 7, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new suggestions, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we're looking at uh, Bitcoin, and as you can see, we did rally and then gave most of those gains back. We actually gave all of those gains back, and we are landed up in red the end of the session. So we are struggling here at the 50 moving average. We uh, can uh, make this uh, line here, which should be support. So pulling back towards this line here should make a bounce. If this breaks, then we'll probably drop all the way down towards um, 50 and probably to 47, 46, uh, 46K. At this moment, technical negatives are all over the place. They are more bearish than they are bullish. And uh, struggling at the 50 moving average is uh, usually not a very good sign. Usually it basically tends to break to the downside if it struggles at one point at uh, uh, too long. But if we rally, we will most likely find resistance at the 60K and at the top here at 64K. So let's look at Etro. So it continues to rally. We were all the way up towards uh, 3,576 and then gave most of those gains back, creating this shooting star. So at this point, if we get a red candlestick here tomorrow, then that is a massive warning sign that we could drop towards 20 exponential, the middle of the bullish band at 2,654. Uh, but at the moment, we are significantly over. We are significantly overbought. We are significantly overstretched here. But technical years are very bullish indeed. If you look at uh, historical patterns here, when we have fallen. 20, 50, bottom of the bullish band have been the areas where this has turned around. So, so we are still in uptrends. There is, uh, we are getting very parabolical here, here and uh, pullback has been expected for quite some time. Usually that happens in the weekend. So, but we'll see in on, on Friday session. So let's look at Ada. So very similar here, we rallied all the way up towards this is ridiculous rally here. Uh, 1.66, we completely broke uh, these previous highs that I pointed out the yesterday, which we could, sorry, that was the wrong line. We need a horizontal line uh, around here. So we did crush this resistance of uh, 1.47 uh, and got all the way up towards the 1.6622. At this current stage, we are overbought. We are significantly overstretched. Whether or not we pull back from here tomorrow, that is to be seen. It is still really risky to buy it here. Last time we did the rally like this, it was here. We fell all the way down towards the bottom of the bullish band. Very similar here and also very similar here. So historical patterns have proven when we get um, when we get this far outside, it basically breaks to the downside. But due to the fact that we have uh, broken this resistance line, it could also act as support. So we could fall back towards, give or take, 1.47 and find that as support and then continue rallying above that towards probably two. So that is to be seen. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin has kind of fallen apart today. We did uh, rally up all the way up to 362 and then gave most of those gains back. Actually, all of those gains back. We're trading at 324 at this point. Technical indicators are all turning around. If we were to, word, were to draw from here, then 20 at uh, 272, the 550 at 235, and the bottom of the bullish band at 200 should offer massive amount of support and uh, at this current stage technical indicators are pointing to lower levels so very similar to uh, to Etrum, when we have rallied outside and started bringing down it usually drops towards the 50. very similar patterns every, all the way here and we could drop all the way down to 232 uh, before continuing rally to the upside if we this basically breaks then we have the 200 moving average all the way down here at 152. So let's look at the NEO. 
So Neo um, it did not fall, but it is um, kind of lacking com compared to uh, to uh, other cryptocurrencies. So it's like one or two days behind. At this current stage, we're testing the previous highs here. We have not broken the all-time highs, but we have gotten fairly high. We went all the way up towards uh, 126 and then gave most of those gains back. And at this point, technical indicators are still very bullish. Even the RSI, none of them are basically showing signs of weakness. And so you see seen tomorrow is still fairly overstretched uh, on the edge of being overbought. Pullbacks from here almost that defines support at uh, 196. Right below that, we have the 50 down here at 69. So let's look at Dash. So Dash continues to rally. We have broken these previous highs here, and that is a very bullish sign indeed. Uh, very similar to other cryptocurrencies, uh, Dash usually falls towards the 20 exponential and the 50 when it breaks down. So you can see it here, breaks towards the, the 20. You could also say that it breaks down toward the very bottom. And also here, it breaks down to the 50 and then rallies. So you can also see it here, breaks down to the 50, and here, breaks down to the 50 and continues rally. So yes, at the moment, trading at 100, 416, massive rally to the upside from 230. So these these things basically need to pull back uh, eventually. And as you see, historical patterns, we have rallied, pulled back, rallied, pulled back. And uh, that is just the name of the game. We're still in an uptrend. And uh, as long as the 50, 200 are holding, then we're still in this uptrend. So let's look at Dogecoin. So Dogecoin is... Uh, well, showing a lot of weakness at this current stage. Well, we got all the way up towards uh, 0 0.68 uh, 10. And then, well, this is not looking very promising. So we have seen this rally before. When they are broken down, they have dropped towards the middle of the bullish band. Here it went from uh, 0 0.33 all the way down towards 0 0.16. So in this case, we could drop from 0 0.68 all the way down towards uh, 0 0.34. Technical indicators are turning around. We are significantly overbought at this point, overstretched, and it's showing signs of basically weakness. So uh, pullbacks towards uh, the 20 exponential have proven to be significant support in the past. Break below that, we have the 50 down here at 0 0.18 and the 200 all the way down here at 0 0.05. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing and hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.